I was filming and there was a Mini Cooper that passed me. <laughs> I feel like so connected to Mini Coopers now. I'm like, we're family, guys. So I'm here and I'm ready to go practice. I ate my eggs today with my water. My dad is home today because he has like four days off. He works a lot of days, like 15 hour shifts. Um, but he actually had the day off. So I was like, Dad, you want me to make you some hard boiled eggs? And he's like, yeah, I want to. And I was like, that's it? Because I have five. But I'm like, I'm starting to lift more. And I can tell that my body's like wanting that protein. So I'm like, oh my goodness. So I've been looking at YouTube videos of people that lift a lot, like bodybuilders. I'm not going to go that extreme, guys. But I just wanted to get some ideas of like what they eat and how they prepare and it, I always thought like food prep was going to be hard, but it looks pretty easy. I mean, if you keep it simple, which I'm totally fine eating the same thing every single day. Like I'm not one of those people that like have to have change, especially if I know if it's like helping my body and giving my body like the fuel that it needs, I'm totally fine. So I'm like, well, I'm going to go work out and then go practice and then go back to the gym and work out again. <laughs> it's my life, guys. I just wrote a post on my fan Facebook page. Um, if you guys aren't on there, go ahead and go on my website and you'll find the links all to all my stuff on my website. I need to update my website because it's pretty pathetic. It's been a long time since I've been on there. but. I've just had a lot of people like forcing their opinions on me and I know it's a good thing like they feel like they're in the good and I I can see their hearts are in the right spot in the place but it's just really sad because when people see other people doing something that's not normal career wise or like going for a dream it's like they just want to like down you without even knowing like I'm sure like they're they're coming from a good spot place in their heart but they're just not like it's out of the ordinary so they're like no you can't do that like you need to do this and this and this and it's like you have to do what's best for you and what you need to do for your life and this is the journey that I've picked and I do I know if I'm going to go on if I'm going to make it on LPGA I'm really hoping and I really want that to happen but I'm going to enjoy the journey who knows what life can throw at you. So I'm just going to focus on my fitness and make my small goals towards LPGA and just go from there and enjoy my life because how many people actually do go after their careers and dreams? Um, I have made sacrifices. I'm not married. 29. I feel like that's still young, but in this day and age, a lot of people are like, oh, 29, like you're not married, you don't have kids. And it's like, no, <laughs> I feel like it should be okay, but, um, yeah, just, my head's just, like, thinking nonstop about it today because it's just, like, it's just weird how, you know, people just want to say, no, you need to do it this way. Even though it worked for them, it might not work for me that way. Just unique journeys of life and... I don't know. I've always been the type of person that always does unique things and um, not the normal routine. So either, you know, get a camera and make YouTube videos and have that go successful and, you know, LPGA, golf, fitness, whatever. I'm just excited that I can do this and that I have supportive parents. And even if I didn't have my supportive parents, um, like if they weren't around to help me, I feel like they've raised me to where even if I had a nine to five job, I would still do everything I could to reach my goal. I'm just that kind of a person, I'm very dedicated and very, you know, when I say I'm going to do something, I try my hardest to do it. And I really hope you guys get that through these videos, like of getting to know me that, you know, I don't have the money to go play every week you know if you follow other girls on big break you see that they're playing golf every week and there's a reason for that <laughs> but I'm not gonna sit there and complain and have a pity party about it I'm just gonna put my big girl panties on 
and do what I have to do. Like, Ben Hogan didn't have money. Lee Trevino didn't have money. And they still made it. You know, um, I always get her name wrong. Lizette Salas, I think that's how you say her name. She's really pretty. Um, you know, she didn't come from money. And I love hearing those stories of people that really work their butts off. Because it's like, it's so encouraging for anyone that, you know, you don't have to come from a trust fund to reach your dreams. You can work hard and yeah, maybe you have to get a job, but don't let that stop you. Don't get discouraged. Just keep pressing forward. If you fail, who cares? I don't care if I fail. Like, obviously I failed a lot and I just have to keep thinking like I'm trying, I'm going, making a step every time making a step closer to my dream and learning from that failure and I'm getting stronger so I've just been encouraging myself a lot um my my tournaments are going to start pretty soon I have to look at the schedule and decide like pick and choose which ones I want to do I definitely want to do a lot of the state opens because I found out that they pay a lot like more than normal tournaments like cactus is pretty good but I mean, if you're going to spend that much money to, for me to travel there, stay there, I want to put myself in tournaments that have really good competition and can pay out a lot. So I'm just excited. I'm going to go work on my grip and my swing. I'm just going to work on wedge shots today because I figure that that's the money shots. So yeah, let's go practice. Are you ready? I'm sorry. I'm babbling. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, oh, let's go practice, shall we? Can we just take a minute here and look at this cuteness of how my car matches my golf clubs? This is my life, guys. This is what, this is what excites me right now. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> trying to make this a makeshift film. It's really cold out, guys. You know what? Success doesn't know if it's cold or not. Doesn't care. Just have to put in the work. I took my big coat off because it was too big to swing, so now I'm like freezing my butt off. So I'm just working on little wedge shots, getting my grip down again. Constant work with my grip, just baby shots. Trying to work on my fundamentals, I guess you could say. So cold. Chunky monkey. Oof. For those who are like, why do you always practice on mats? Well, it's because it's free. So, <laughs> if you had to choose, what would you pick? another place that I can go to but they're like they're, it's in a a meadow type of a thing so it's the wind hits you like heck and you just freeze so I would much rather hit balls here and then just play golf there especially in the winter time because it's always so cold with that wind I don't want to like rip a muscle <laughs> that would not be good So yeah, this is what I'm doing guys. <laughs> There's no one here. Absolutely no one. It's a work day though, so that's why. But I mean, it's for, for it being so cold, it's really nice out. I mean, I can't complain about this amazing Washington winter. We're having such a good winter. I'm so happy. The most we've been getting is rain and I'll take it. We had that frost for just a few days, but nothing crazy. But this is what I'm doing. Just realized you probably couldn't see me. Probably just a shadowed version of myself from that other angle. Okay.
too shabby. Not too shabby. I'm such a dork. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> this is what happens when you get bored, guys. Think of ways of how to make a cool video. Hopefully, I do not kill my phone right now. That would make me really sad. I shouldn't. I should pick up. Buddy, I bet that's cool. Wish I had a slow mo. Let's do another one. <laughs> is that cool, guys? Is it? Is it? I hope so. Okay. I just thought of this really cool way to exercise and golf. Same time. Well, not golf, just practice golf. I probably won't show any of this in my vlog because my vlog will be like a hundred million years long. of practicing golf guys it's super fun guys time for Christmas lights and we're burning a fire <laughs> it's so cold though but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna look so pretty helping my dad get lights out I found two more bins that go to my fun trees and I knew I wasn't going crazy I knew I had more fun ornaments than what I put up because I'm like that looks kind of bare to what my trees usually look like but look this huge bin is full of fun Christmas stuff. And then I found this one. Look at this. Look at how cute. So I'm going to put them up on the trees. I might have to, well, this one's kind of leaning. So I might have to put up another tree and put this stuff on there because I don't want it to fall. Because that's like my biggest fear. Jim! I already did my warm up, so Christina's doing hers. She's like, let's do a thousand. I'm like, okay. you need to do a thousand meters. So she's warmed up, so like. Oh, that's good. That's good. It'll make you burn more when you lift. So she looks so cute. Look at her. Corn is my booty. booty. We're gonna work on our arms, cause that's gotta go bye bye. See that? <laughs> Those arms. Heck yeah. <laughs> She's so buff. Right this is my awesome trainer. My inspiration. <laughs> Go Courtney! We're making a difference. Yes, day one. Day one of many days. 2015 is going to be our year. Yes. <laughs> 
Christina just finished. Christina just finished. It's my turn now. Here you go. Okay. I don't okay. know if I can do 60. I would do 50. I'm not gonna do 60 again. That was a little crazy. <laughs> go, Courtney. I have weak little arms, guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Three. You need to go down to 30. Oh. 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 You can do it, Courtney. Just I do can't. one set of 50. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Fetal position. It's okay. Christina's like beast mode, guys. <laughs> Don't mess with her. Yeah, I'll beat you up. <laughs> you can do it. This is only day one. There you go. Two more. <laughs> Just break the machine. <laughs> How did that feel, Courtney? <laughs> They're burning. I just don't want to walk around like this. Christina's doing pull-ups. This is embarrassing, guys. <laughs> we have to start from somewhere. Everybody starts from the beginning. Okay, okay, okay. Courtney. Doing the pull-ups. She's much better at pull-ups than me. So we each have a machine that we're bad at. This is my enemy. <laughs> but Courtney I'm still can. Assisted with these pull-ups. One day I won't have to be. I'll I know. One day, one day we'll get it. Woohoo! Go, Courtney. She's so buff. <laughs> you have to do positive thinking. You are buff. You think I'm buff, buff. Guys. You... There you go. Oh, it's starting to burn now. Yeah. Oh. This machine's crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go, Courtney! Two more. Two more. Two more. Woo! Yay! Good job. Good job, Courtney doing dips right now. We just finished the pull-ups and now we're doing dips. Christina hates them. My she, shoulders are my weak spot. She hates them with a passion. I do. I really do. Okay, though. I'm gonna get stronger. She's gonna get stronger. Courtney showing off her strong shoulders. <sighs> I need to work on mine, guys. This is so hard for me. It's okay. But that's what's, that's what's cool, though. Like, Everybody has a different weakness. You just gotta work with it. Mine's my boobs. <laughs> Apparently I have strong chest. <laughs> but my shoulders are not very strong. It's okay. Your boobs are gonna get stronger and my shoulders are gonna get stronger. <laughs> Go Courtney. Nice. Good job. 